The Russia-Ukraine war is still going on. No one has won the war yet, but Europe has already lost it. Finland's Prime Minister Sanna Marin on Friday minced no words while she came heavily down on Europe. She declared that Europe was not capable of fighting Russia alone. While speaking in Sydney, the Finnish leader said, "I must be very honest, brutally honest with you. Europe isn't strong enough right now. We would be in trouble without the US." She sounds worried, anxious, troubled, and panicked. There is a reason for it. Finland has agreed to join NATO. a move that russia has condemned and labeled as a military provocation finland's love for nato has made it an obvious target for russia both finland and russia are members of the arctic council the sanna marin administration is worried that russia might escalate the tensions in the arctic the arctic council comprised of canada denmark finland iceland norway russia sweden and the US is an intergovernmental group aiming to promote cooperation in the region. Russia says that after Sweden's and Finland's inclusion into NATO, Russia will be left as the only non-NATO member country in the council. NATO countries would be in a position to gang up against Russia in the Arctic. NATO is already working on a plan to turn the Baltic Sea and the Gulf of Finland into the NATO Sea. The small gulf is the home to some of the busier sea lanes of the world including passenger ferries, oil and gas exports and other merchant shipping. From a Russian point of view, it is also the gateway to the oceans for vessels operating to and from the St. Petersburg region as well as the transit route for many Russian naval vessels. NATO's plan is to deploy land-based missile batteries in the region. particularly on Estonian and Finnish soil. You see Russia sees NATO's expansion in its neighborhood as an obvious threat to its national security. So, Sanna Marin now wants Europe to beef up its defenses and become self-sufficient militarily. On Friday in her speech, she also said, "We have to make sure that we are also building those capabilities." when it comes to european defense the european defense industry and making sure that we could cope in different kinds of situations basically she is asking europe to prepare for a bigger direct war against russia all in the name of self defense while leaving no stone unturned to escalate the situation herself but wait is she doing it on her own or at someone else's behest We know from day one that the Biden White House has used European countries as a pawn in their hands to inflict economic and military pain on Russia. For Biden, the loss of Europe is collateral damage, something that doesn't concern him. By following Biden's dictates, nations like Estonia, Sweden, and Finland are only complicating their security environment. Biden's prime agenda is to sabotage Russia's plans of launching the Northern Sea Route in the Arctic. This can only be done if the region is pushed into turmoil. Peace cannot be achieved by chanting warring slogans. Finland must avoid speaking Biden's language with Russia and start talking peace. Peace in the Arctic is the best thing for the global economy. You can change your friends and enemies but not geographical neighbors so finland and estonia and sweden must find a way to bury the hatchet with russia and work towards achieving peace in the region india's world telling the right side of the story